Welcome back to the Minimum Workshop. So today what I'm gonna show you how to do is we're gonna change the gas tank in this Jeep. Uh, the gas tank's right down in the front hood here. And it's not too hard to take out, but I'm gonna teach you how to take it out and swap it in case you have to change the gas tank. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna grab my tools and something to put my bolts in and I'll break right back. Okay, <clears throat> so over the top of the gas tank here, all you're gonna need is an eight mil socket and a 10 mil wrench. And this side actually doesn't have any uh, bolts on it. It's self-tapped right into the frame. Okay, on this side, those are some 10 mils. Now the next one we take it out, it also holds the horn in there, so the horn, yeah, of course that'll fall. I'll grab that in a sec, but we have to grab the, we have to take the horn out too. Now your tank will come out. <clears throat> now you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your fuel line. It's right down here. Um, but we're gonna turn the fuel off as soon as we get the tank out. So all you have to do is take your tank out, move that over, slip your tank up like this. We're gonna turn it off right here. And then we can go ahead and pop it out like that. Oop. I guess I had it turned off and I turned it back on. Yeah, there we go. So there we are. So now we have our tank out. Now, if you have to change this, um, it's not a big deal. You just want to uh, unscrew this. It's a 14 mil. It just unscrews and screws right back in. Um, I got a little gas leaking all over me here. I'm just going to get a rag and clean it up. And then I'll show you how to put it right back in. Okay, so we got our gas tank back again. So all we're gonna wanna do is uh, rehook our, oh, I got it backwards. We're gonna wanna rehook our fuel line back up to the fuel pet top. Gonna turn the fuel back on and let's just slip it back into place here. You just wanna line up the holes on both sides. There we go. And then this goes here. And don't forget to put your horn up so it locks in and uh, you can put the bolt through there too. I just wanted to get go ahead and put my bolt in. And then I'll go ahead and put my other bolt in on this side. There we go. And then <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put my bolts in on this side too. But on this side, we don't need nuts. Just the bolts have to go back in. So. Oh, 
I'm not gonna make that tight yet. You might have to finesse it a little bit in there. But when you put your bolts in, don't put them in tight until you get all of them in. I don't have to worry about uh, trying to find a hole or anything like that. But once they're all in there, you can tighten them right down. Then we can go ahead, we can put our nuts on the other ones. And tighten them up and then uh, that'll be it. Wish I had tinier fingers. There we go. Tighten these up. There we go. There we go. And that's it, guys. So that is how you change the gas tank in your 125cc mini Jeep Canada version.